1-800-DUIOA, now offering free remote consultations by phone or video conference for any criminal offense. Trust Brooke, Jeffrey, and Jose's friends with a free remote consultation. From Bradley Johnson Lawyers, visit 1-800-DUIOA.com or call 1-800-DUIOA. All right, it's almost time for your phone tap. And even with Netflix, Hulu, Mm -hmm. Disney+, Plus, all the other streaming services available now, some people still like the feeling of renting a good old-fashioned DVD. Oh, my God. I think it's so weird. You know, my dad, oh, my gosh, he yeah. loves to go to a red box or whatever they're called and get a physical DVD in his hand. The problem is once you're done, you have to remember to return the DVD. Oh, my God. That's where they get you. Oh and you have to make sure to put the right movie back in the case. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This still happens. People yeah. still do this. <laughs> but what happens if you don't do it the right way? Shame on your family? Well, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, because okay. that's when yes. you get a call from our own Brooke Fox. Oh. And the ramifications are much more than you bargained for. Uh-oh. But if you're still using Redbox, you deserve it. Totally. <laughs> You'll hear what happens in your brand new phone tap right now. It's another phone tap. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, this is Nina calling from Redbox Customer Service. I'm looking for Kyle K- uh, this is he. Hi, Kyle. I was just calling because there seems to have been an issue with the most recent Redbox return. What do you mean? It seems as though you rented the movie Hustlers from us and then returned the Redbox case with a different DVD inside. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it happens a lot. Anyway, I just want to inform you that you're going to be charged a replacement fee of four ninety nine. Okay. Four dollars and ninety nine cents, right? Yeah. It's hustlers. We're not talking about hundreds of dollars here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm also seeing here that the same situation happened last year with the movie Deadpool 2. Uh, I don't remember that. It's in our records, so I'm going to have to mark this down as your second offense. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means that you're suspended from renting any Redbox movies or games for a 120-day period. Well, wait, wait. I can still find the movie. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. I can still, like... No, it's already been processed, so we're kind of past the return part. But I do need to let you know that because you can find Redbox in a lot of 7-Elevens, you're going to be banned from entering that convenience store as well. What? No, wait. You can't do that. Actually, we can. Oh, my God. We take these second offenses very seriously, so for the next 90 days, you won't be allowed into any 7-Elevens. Can I talk to a manager or something? I mean, you can. It's just going to be a waste of your time. This is normal red box protocol. (sighs) Whatever. Also, I'm sorry to tell you this, but for the next 60 days, you're not allowed in any post offices in the state. What? Yeah. Why wouldn't they let me into a post office because of a movie? Because the DVD you returned was shipped to another red box kiosk out of state. So because the wrong film crossed state lines, it became a federal crime. A federal crime? Are you... Me? Don't worry, you won't be serving any time, but you'll have to pay a fine, probably around $750. Oh, wait, no, no, that is ridiculous. A $750 fine. Yeah, I mean, I've oh, seen them up to 1500 but I don't think they'll get you that bad. What? Why would they even go up from there? I'm sorry, you know, I don't make the rules. It's not really my job. I'm just... No, who makes the rules? I mean, I, I didn't even know that that was a rule. Like, if I had known... Yeah. Like, I have the movie, I'm sure. I can give it Again, back. Again, we're already in the processing phase of this, so we can't accept the return. You gotta be f- kidding me. Just remember, you're still banned from the post office, so hopefully you have some stamps. Just a joke there. Probably not the best timing. Yeah, no, it's not the best timing. This is this is going to waste a lot of my time and a, a lot of my money for something like stupid that I didn't even like I didn't even do. Yeah, I know doing stupid stuff sucks sometimes, <laughs> just like doing this stupid prank phone call on you. What? Like I'm saying this is pretty stupid because it's all a joke. Oh my god, you're with me? <laughs> yes, this is actually Brooke from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you, man. Your girlfriend Maddie set you up. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she said that you accidentally returned the wrong Redbox movie and she wanted to mess with you. <laughs> wait, so, wait, I didn't put in the wrong DVD? I have no idea. I don't know if you did or you didn't, oh. but I'm just saying... Redbox might put you on that no-fly list, all right? Yeah, well, I'm going to be extra careful now. Yeah, Jesus. the lesson is here, don't f- with Redbox. Yeah, you're so right, man. I'm not f- with Redbox ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up every morning with phone taps. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on 92.5.
on Moving 92.5.